We have an update here on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, what Activision has been doing recently, future IW plans to remake this content, and much more. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this, and shout out to my partner Apex Gaming PCs, a bunch of great customizable PCs over there, great for making videos, playing Call of Duty, stuff like that, links are down below. If you use my code MATTERS, you'll get a pretty good discount. But first, for a bit of backstory, of course, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered campaign it came out back in 2020, right after Warzone came out, it was around April of May. 2020 it was really really fun but the leaks leading up to that from 2018 onwards were always about multiplayer campaign remastered is cool of course but we were more concerned about mw2 remastered mp and there were a bunch of credible sources and leaks saying that they were developing and making a remastered mw2 mp but they decided to scrap it for whatever reason they thought it would take away from the base game the success of mw19 warzone whatever the true reason was they scrapped that which i don't completely understand because i think that would have made them so much money of course they did release a remastered mp before back when infinite warfare came out alongside of that game you also got cod for modern warfare remastered if you got the upgraded edition and maybe that was a unique situation because infinite warfare wasn't as popular so they needed a reason they needed to give people a reason to buy that game so you get some nostalgia getting the old remastered cod as well but i feel like those games both coexisted pretty well they both got a ton of updates and it would have been great to see you know for mw19 mw2 remastered mp release as well or honestly this year's game mw2 also have a remastered section of the old mw2 as well alongside of it that would have been an amazing bundle that would have really carried this year's game onward but of course that didn't happen they had different plans for that and we'll talk about that later on in the video but now in place of all the mw2 remastered stuff we've been seeing a bunch of clients on pc such as plutonium x labs and other services just making these games playable so specifically mw2 being able to play mw2 on pc first of all without cheaters without hackers without your account being compromised but second of all giving these games updates mods being able to use weapons from all different cods on mw2 being able to play mw2 with better graphics new kill streaks new maps new weapons custom game modes all of this cool stuff i mean they were making the mw2 remastered multiplayer that activision canceled and didn't want to make and it was so so cool to see and obviously a couple days ago we got sm2 which was a insane mw2 remastered multiplayer project uh, that was combining all different IW and Treyarch assets, maps, weapons all together to make this ultimate MW2 remastered MP game that got shut down by Activision. And now today as well, we have X Labs, which was another client server similar to Plutonium, which again made it so you could play those games without being hacked or, you know, cheaters being on the servers, but also allowing you to have mods and have this really cool enhanced modded MW2 remastered experience. Activision is shutting all of that down which is absolutely insane now i do have to say it does make sense i'm not saying that this is not surprising because again it is activision's intellectual property i, I understand why they want to have control of that but at the same rate if you're not updating these prior games to you know make it so at least you're not being hacked i mean if you play black ops 3 if you play these old COD games especially on pc and even on console as well there's a chance you have hackers in the lobby that could compromise your account and you know get your information whatever they get whatever they're gonna do that is a real threat and activision tries or i think Treyarch tried to do that with bo3 update it so the servers are better now but it didn't really work so if activision's not doing that the community is doing that for them why shut that down i i understand both sides of the argument there but overall again the bigger point for me here is that activision originally shut down mw2 remastered multiplayer and now that other community projects were picking up the slack and making their own mw2 remastered mp activision is shutting that down as well what is the solution i mean are they going to do their own remastered mp are they going to release the maps are, gonna, are they going to release the content do they want it all for themselves or do they just not want anyone to remake these old cards have new content have all these fun experiences for whatever reason I, I do not know is it a competition to their current game is that why they want people to just focus on mw2 like this year's game they want people to just play farm 18 and el Asilo. and i'm not being a hater like i do like this year's game but it's definitely not my favorite and i think you know there could be a situation where they see these games as potentially better games than what they have right now i don't know for sure but that could be an argument there now again what exactly is their end goal here what is the solution to this remastered content of course we've had several leaks about iw doing their own remake in a sense in this year's game to celebrate 20 years of call of duty a paid greatest hits map pack 
is in development on top of modern warfare 2 2009 maps these would also include other classic maps from infinity ward Treyarch, sledgehammers catalog meant to be released in mw2 year two so of course a lot of things here mw2 year two is not going to happen we know we're getting a new call of duty mw3 which is a continuation of this year's campaign a continuation of this year's game led by sledgehammer games but i do still think that this greatest hits map pack and dlc content could still release in a sense during mw2 slash mw3 whenever that's going to be and i think maybe again this is exactly what sm2 kind of was sm2 was in a sense modern warfare 2 remastered but it had mw3 content you could play on Treyarch maps as well maybe some sledgehammer maps so i think they saw this potentially as a threat and hopefully they're considering and actually going to do their own version of a huge remade game just put the content in mw3 but still have a lot of content from past call of duties which would be really really sick and honestly if they could pull that off i would definitely understand and i would be a lot more at ease and happy that they're actually doing that stuff now again if they shut down their own mw2 remastered mp efforts they shut down sm2 they shut down x labs and they're not going to do it themselves that's going to be super unfortunate. That's really, really going to suck, and there's nothing we could do, but it's just you're missing out on such a great opportunity to honestly, you know, not only make money, because if they do their own remastered content, you know, obviously we want new content, but I think people would easily play a wholly remastered MW2 MP game, MW3 BO2 remastered MP as well. But they would also be missing out on the amount of fun that people would be able to have playing this remastered content. And, you know, if they're not able to play it on PC, at least bring it to everyone else. Being able to do cross-play as well with consoles, PCs, with this remaster stuff would be insane as well. So, look again. I don't know for sure what's going to happen here. The leaks are saying that it is possible we get a lot of remastered content, of course. And we'll see what that ends up looking like here. I mean, I'm hopeful that we get some cool stuff. But it is kind of disheartening to see Activision just shut down all of this content that the community is making. That I honestly don't see as, you know, real competition. Because... Honestly, let's be real, most people are not hopping on PC, downloading all these mods and playing these games. Most people, especially most casual players, are just playing the new current Call of Duty. So I really don't know why Activision saw this as a big problem here. Besides for just the sheer fact that it's, you know, infringing on their IP, their intellectual property, that's the only real reason why I would see it. But in terms of competition, I don't think there's any real competition there. A very small portion of people were actually playing SM2, or SM2 wasn't out, but, you know, X Labs and Plutonium hasn't been banned, but that's probably up next as well. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Let me know down below your opinions on this, but I do think it, it is possible we get a lot more just remastered content in general, not just in terms of MW2 MP, but in terms of other CODs as well in the next couple of CODs here. So I'll be sure to update you guys on what's happening there, but I think overall it is a pretty sad day for people wanting to have a little bit of nostalgia, playing old CODs, you know, expanded CODs, remastered content, new content on these old CODs. I mean, that stuff was so, so sick. There's even like zombie mods on the old MW2. I was looking up some gameplay. I mean, you, you're probably seeing some in the background of this video, or you have been seeing some. This is just such cool stuff there. So for them to shut it down, it, it really sucks. And hopefully, again, if they're going to shut all this stuff down, be sure to do it themselves and release it themselves. If you want to shut this down, give it to us officially. That's the case there. But let me know down below your opinions on this. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.